Um, today we're doing soup to nuts. Uh, I've just got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of cockamamie stuff, so I can't give it a proper name. But first of all, I want to welcome all my new followers. Thank you so much. I so appreciate your following and being there. So since I said we're going to start from soup to nuts, let's start with salt. Salt, you say? So I'm going to talk about gifts to give and things that I love and stuff like that. So this, do you see this? This is called a salt cellar. I bought it in Ketchum, Idaho, and it's a, I, I don't know if it's antique or vintage. It wasn't very much money, but what I love every time I see it, it gives me such great joy because it's pretty and the salt I use is called Maladon. And Maladon salt is, it's, that, that's what the queen used to use. And so they're little flakes of salt and I take my fingers and I, you know, I sprinkle it over what I'm eating and it just gives me great pleasure. And I was thinking, you know, if you go to a thrift shore, store or a peddler's fair or any kind of place like that, buy a salt cellar, a salt cellar and buy salt and what a great gift. Who is giving a gift of salt? I think you're supposed to give salt and bread when a person moves into a new house. You'll tell me if I'm wrong or I'm right. But anyway, it's Maladon salt and it's a salt cellar. Love it. Then there's a YouTuber and her name is um, Tamara's Priceless Beauty. Boy, I hope that's the right name. Anyway, uh, a brand that she just introduced me to is called Mad Hippie and it's excellent. Well, I've only got one thing, but it's called, uh, it's this cream cleanser. You know what? It really works. It doesn't leave my face tight. It washes really beautifully. It's got a lovely consistency. So I highly recommend Tamara and Mad Hippie. In fact, I just ordered their um, moisturizer because I wanna see how that product works also. So Mad Hippie, you know, you might even give a, you know, it's small, it's, it's relatively inexpensive. You might even, you know, wrap it in some cellophane with a bow and it's a, you know, everybody always wants to try a new cleanser. Might give that as a gift. And while I was getting dressed today, after I cleansed my face with uh, Mad Hippie, wanted to, I've always loved Bobbi Brown products. Now this is some, this is Bobby Brown's corrector and I've had it for, I had one for at least five years. Finally, the hinge gave way and I threw it away, but I mean, it was, it, it, it was in the dregs of it. I use this all the time, all the time in my, you know, I've got like a canyon here of dark purple blue coloring. And so I just bought a new one. And so I use it to cover up the, the coloring and I put it in here where it gets all dark. Uh, highly recommend with a lovely brush and put it just where the creases are. And this, now the one I'm using is light bisque and it's kind of peach and it covers and it's good for purple and blue. So this Bobbi Brown product. And while I was at it, I, I love Hannah Martin. You know, Hannah Martin is the British makeup artist who did the makeup for Catherine, the Duchess of, what is she, the Duchess of Wales now? No, the Princess of Wales. And she recommends this as a base and a moisturizer. And not only uh, does Hannah, Hannah Martin recommend it, but many, many makeup artists use this as a moisturizer and a base. It really is good. I noticed it the first time I was wearing it. Now I've used this before and just, you know, I have, I'm always testing new products. So I, I hadn't bought this in a while, but um, I highly recommend this as a moisturizer and a base. By the way, you know, Hannah Martin also did Princess Eugenie's makeup when she got married at St. George's Chapel. I knew that Princess Eugenie looked beautiful and it's because of Hannah Martin. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, and another, this, this palette, you know, I don't buy a lot of palettes um, because I don't, I don't use orange or I don't use wild colors on my eyes. I think I look stupid. Uh, but this palette by ColourPop, uh, it's called Stone Cold Fox. It's a cool palette. I love it. And not only do I love it, 
but some really big, oh, you know who loves that also? Is Hot and Flashy. And so Angie of Hot and Flashy loves this palette also. And you know, she's she's a big deal on YouTube. So I, I do recommend this. Now I use this color as a liner today and I used, I mix these colors. So I take a light and I, I mix it with some of the other colors and um, I highly recommend and it's ColourPop. And what a lovely gift also. How can you go wrong? It's $33, I believe, if I remember correctly, and um, a lovely gift. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, from the beautiful, or is it from the beautiful to the ridiculous? From the, I don't remember, but anyway, to the ridiculous. So I follow a number of, well, you know, blogs that talk about um, homes and decorating and stuff like that. And they all talk about trays. They've got a tray next to the sink for their detergent. They've got a tray for their barista stuff, you know, next to their coffee. They've got a tray in their bathrooms. They've got a tray everywhere. They've got a tray. So I made myself a tray. Well, I didn't make it, but I had this, I don't even, I think this is a, um, a dish. I don't even know if it's a tray, but what I did was I created a tray next to my stove and I've got, okay, I've got this timer. Now my other timer died and I've been using um, Siri, you know, everybody uses Siri, but I didn't find that, I, I don't know, I didn't find it satisfying. I like the dinging of a bell and I went back to this old fashioned timer and it's very satisfying. Well, you can hear it ringing a little bit. So I, again, I love using this timer. Get an old fashioned timer. Oh, you know, while we're talking about that, I'm, this is probably the wrong thing to do, but we're talking about timing and I must, I must recommend you getting an iWatch. And you're gonna say why? Because it can save you. You press a button right here and up comes 911. A friend of mine, her husband had his watch on he was in the back of the house. His wife was in the front of the house in the kitchen. She couldn't hear him, but he fell down and he was able to call an ambulance by just by, because of this watch. And I think if you live alone, if you're older, if you can fall down, remember I broke my wrist twice. Fortunately, my husband was at home, but otherwise you, this is a way to save yourself. Um, this might be a gift for a mother, for somebody who's frail, for somebody who needs it. So this friend's husband fell down in the back of the house. She was in the front of the house. Suddenly she gets calls from her daughter saying, what's going on with dad? Suddenly an ambulance comes up. She hadn't heard it. And here, the, here comes the ambulance, here comes the daughter, and they're all there because of his, of his watch saying, he needed, he needed um, an ambulance, to be honest. So I highly recommend that. So back to the trays. So what I've got on this tray, I've got salt, pepper, garlic, um, sugar, um, more pepper. Let me tell you a little bit about the various things. Wouldn't this be a nice gift to give somebody? I know we've all got salt and pepper, but putting it all together, it just gives it kind of a je ne sais quoi look ish okay so i've got i've got himalayan pepper in here which is pink i can't taste the difference to be honest but it looks awfully pretty going in so i've got himalayan salt i've got pepper that is black pink white and green pepper in here in this pepper mill i've got and this is the one that i saw on ina garten's show and to be honest, it's my least favorite. I hate to say that, but I guess if you, if you grind it, you can see the bottom comes off and you can, you know, if she says you need a quarter teaspoon of pepper, I never do it that way. With pepper, I just grind it to taste, but Ina approves this. So who am I to say? Then I've got, I've got sugar. I find that I use sugar in cooking for things like um, tomato sauce. It kind of smooths out the flavor. So I'll add, I don't add a lot, maybe a teaspoon, 
oh, in a big pot, but it really does smooth out the flavor. And I must tell you a story. So I use sugar. My grandson adores pancakes. And every time he's down here, grandma, make me pancakes, pancakes, please. So of course, what do I do? I make him pancakes. Well, one day, I guess I wasn't thinking that straight. And I give him, I make him the pancakes and he looks at me and he says, Ugh, they're terrible. Grandma, what did you do? And I'm thinking, my God, what did I do? What, do you, uh, what What's his problem? And he says, taste it. And I bite into it. It was salt. I put salt in his pancakes instead of sugar. Have you ever had a salty pancake? It's gross. Well, I've never lived that one down, but my sugar. And then this, I have my, my garlic. These are bowls by Mario Batali. And I bought them just because I thought they were so cute. Sometimes I just buy things because they're just cool looking. And I, you know what? I do use these bowls and I'll put, wait a second. I'll put them, I'll put stuff in here. This is one cup. This is, wait a second. This is three quarters cup. So I do use these bowls. I love them. And don't they look cool? I really like them. I think they came in another color, but I like the green. Okay, we've got that. Now, some of you have asked me to talk to you about where I get my clothes because you think they're cool. Thank you. Well, one of the things I wear a lot is, this is called a spantaloon. And you can see it's, it's tights, it's tights with a little skirt. So it kind of, you know, a little bit of modesty and it, and it's made by Fat Hat Clothing Company and they're having a sale right now. So my suggestion is go to Fat Hat Company. I think that's what it's called. And I'll, I'll make a, I'll put their, their name down below and buy some spantaloons. And I wear these with, um, you know, a big blouse or a big, you know, tunic. And this comes in, oh my God, I've really worn this out. I'm going to get a new one. Um, it comes in gray. It comes in stripes. It comes in, you know, the skirt comes in different colors and the pants, uh, the tights just come in black. I love it. So I've worn it tons, tons. Um, another thing, since we're talking about clothes, I went to Israel, a before COVID. And I went with my daughter and my two grandsons. We had the best time, but I didn't know, I, there, I didn't have a purse that I thought was really good for traveling. Don't ask me why, but I need, in my mind, I needed a purse. Spoke to a friend who said, have you heard of MZ Wallace? No, I had not. Well, M, this is, this is, I'll show you a number of them. This is MZ Wallace. I took this to Israel. I wore it every day. I wore it when I was dressy. I wore it when I was not dressy. I wore it in the desert. I wore it on Masada. I wore it everywhere. It's fabulous. I've been wearing this for years and you know what? It looks brand new. If you want, if I wanted to, I could, I could even wash it. It's nylon. I've, and I've got, let me show you a couple of others. They're really creative. They really stand up, stand up to wear, let me show you a couple of creative ones. Now, I love this. I love the colors. And see, they've got, they come with different, um, what do you call them, handles. And they've got um, uh, thinner ones, thicker ones. They all come with this and they've got, um, wait a second, let's see what it, now I always keep, wait a second, I keep, I keep um, stuffing in it so they don't lose their, their shape. They have, you know, little bags in here. They've got, they're, they're great purses. And you're going to say, but they're expensive. They are, unless you buy them on sale. So what I do is I wait till they're on sale and sign up for their, you know, emails and wait for them to go on sale. And then they're very, re well, I think they're pretty reasonably priced. Well, they're much better priced. And I, I love them. They're very creative. And they're very, and they work. I've got one more to show you. Now, I love this. Now, you gotta know that as an artist, I go nuts over these things. So they're great fun. They've got all sorts of variety. Look at these, look at the way, 
look at the way they're the just the the fixtures they're beautiful they're really they're elegant they're really these are very well made so just want you to know about mz wallace and wait for the sales um tell you about that let's see now i've mentioned thing oh so you know i keep everything on my computer on my computer calendar and i write everything down but i make mistakes and then i don't look at the calendar and I'll be out and I won't remember. And so I decided I have to go back to paper because when I write things down, when I write things down, I seem to remember it better. So it was either the wire cutter from the New York Times or the strategist from, I think that's in New York Magazine. And they had a article all about the best uh, notebooks and planners. And I love this kind of thing. I love stationery. I love I love planners and the one that everybody loves and I'd never heard of it before. It's called the Hobonichi Teco Planner. And this is the one I'm showing the way it's wrapped up. This is for 2023 and this is the one I've been using in 2022. And it's one page per one page per day and um the 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 uh, material is beautiful. It's very thin. It's Japanese. It's lovely. It's it gives you the date. It gives you a quote. I read these quotes and I think I don't know what they're talking about. Um, but this is I I use this all the time. I keep it by my computer and I write things down. You know I'll be watching a YouTube video and I'll want to remember something. Oh yes I need that. I need that. I write it down in this and I can refer back to it so that I always know. I've got it somewhere here. So I, I need a planner. And you know what else is good about this? I don't know, I think it's lightweight, but better than that, it's small. So I can just throw it in my purse, take it with me. Um, and so this is a great planner. I, I, it even comes smaller. But this is the size, and you're gonna ask me what size this is. You know what, I'll put it in the link below. Um, it, you know, it has pages back here. It just had, you know, with just dots for graphs. It's got a lot of stuff. Oh, now, of course, for, oh, something else. I keep on forgetting to tell you. A gift you can give is, do you know about Olive and June um, nail polish? They've got nail polish, they've got um, false nails, they've got so many products, and they're online, they have, on uh, Instagram, they'll teach you how to manicure your nails, how to do, how to, they have whole master classes on nails. It is so much fun. It's a great, it's a great site. Not only that, but they have boxes of whole manicure sets, of pedicure sets, of, they've got all of these sets that are great gifts. I can't tell you how many friends I've given the Olive and June manicure set to. It's a great gift for something, for somebody who has everything or has nothing or it's a great set. So I highly recommend the Olive and June site and the Olive and June gifts. Um, let's see, I, I, I had to remember that. Gifts uh, for, for kids, well, if, get your kids, you know, the grandkids off of their electronic devices. I told you a couple of weeks ago about Quirkle. It's so much fun. It's for kids and it's for grownups. This is, this is a great gift to give. Um, I play with my son. My daughter's going to be coming down. I'm going to play with her. I just, as I say, I just bought it for myself. And you know what else? Do you know about bananagrams? I play this with my grandchildren. And it's like a crossword. You create words and you, you and how do I win? I can't remember. But bananagrams are great fun. And you can see they come in their own little sack. And it's great for travel also. So bananagrams are great. Now, you know how I love books, and you know that how I love cookbooks. So I just got another one that I love, and it's called, wait a second, I'm keeping a place here. It's, I love the name of the book. So, and you can see I've got places that I wanna save. It's called, I Dream of Dinner, So You Don't Have To. And it's by Ali Slagle, and it's really fun. It, she's very creative, she's got lots of ideas, um, and I just kept on, I, I kept on 
tagging so many that I finally stopped because there were too many good ideas. So I Dream of Dinner by Ali Slagle. Love it. Um, another one that I recommend is, now I haven't read it in a while, but it's a great book and I'm suggesting it now because you've got like two or three months to read it. It's a long book, but it's called The 13th Tale by Diana something or other. I'll list it down below. It's so good. I couldn't put it down. My son adored it. My husband loved it. We've all loved it. So The 13th Tale. Uh, but as I say, it's long. So you've got lots of time to read it before we have a book report. Um, let's see that. Oh, another, oh, another idea for, oh, wait a second. You know what is a great gift? Julia Tertian. Remember I mentioned her cookbook? She also has cooking classes online and they're $40 each and they're delightful. I've, I think they're more if you take more classes. Uh, they're less if you take more classes. She is delightful. Whatever she makes is wonderful. She cooks in her kitchen and you can cook along with her. It's a lovely gift to give, something that, again, nobody gives. And another thing, have you been to Etsy lately? They have so many cool homemade, not homemade, handmade items. I've got, uh, I've got um, uh, lampshades made there. I've got, well, you, can remember, you know, the, the um, lanyards that I wear. They've got great stuff on Etsy. So I, I highly recommend that, maybe, have I been saying highly recommend a lot? I don't know what else to say. Go to Etsy. They've got lots of great gifts there. Um, I think, oh, you know what is a great, a great gift that I gave myself that give to teenagers, give to everybody, is the round 360 degree um, organizer. Bless it. I have, I have lipsticks, um, let's see, moisturizers, serums. I got everything on it. It's a great gift. It's a reasonable price and everybody can use it. So I'm going to quit with that and um, have a very happy holiday. Uh, I'll be back, but just wanted to give you some ideas and again, welcome all of my new followers. Whoops, I never remember. Would you please uh, press the thumbs up button uh, saying that you like this video and follow, uh, become a subscriber, and what else? I guess have a great day, have a great week. I'll talk to you later. Thank you again.